Okay, what's up guys? I got a uh, UU match for you against Quick Bob Hero. Uh, it's a little bit of an older match, and it's a uh, traditional style today because my computer's been acting up lately, and for some reason I can't run Logitech, uh, Webcam Suite, and Sony Vegas Pro at the same time. I'm thinking something's a muck, that something might have creeped into my system, and I'm not really uh, paying attention, but I don't have school tomorrow, so I can go ahead and just use tomorrow to completely defrag, uh, clean out my computer, you know, uh, just do the works, devote the whole day to getting it running in ship shape again since I haven't really paid too much attention. But neglecting the first couple turns, sorry about that. Uh, I led with Moltres, he led with Dawn Fan, I go for the air slashes. Uh, hopefully flinch him and get him to not set up the rocks. I led with Moltres because, uh, you know, just in case the rocks, I don't want to have to come in and have to go with that. But I switch it up for the uh, flamethrower and all that. Ah, Forget it, you guys can see it. So, I'm in a stall war with Melodic, right here. And he had the Flame Orb and all that, so he's a really defensive set. Probably got max HP, max spec D going on, and the Flame Orb is to compensate for the defense. Now, I haven't seen any of his attacking moves yet, so I f I'm feeling okay, because if he's this defensive, even if he has an offensive move, it probably won't hurt as much. I find that kind of weird, excuse me, that a Melodic wouldn't have an offensive move. But I've seen Recover, I've seen Aqua Ring, and I'm seeing Flinches, which isn't actually a move, but uh, that's what I'm seeing, and he's not attacking me for some reason. Like, I don't know if he tried attacking me through the Flinches, but uh, I, I needed that last Flinch right there so I could have killed him off, but he goes ahead and recovers, and that really sucks, because, you know, I, I got two lucky ones. I, if I had one more, then this Melodic would have been gone, or even a crit somewhere along the way would have been great. But, uh, despite the fact that I don't want to switch out Moltres because I know when to switch it in, I'll be losing half health. This Melodic is just pissing the shit out of me, and it, I need to do something about it. Now, this is a Choice Band Spear Tomb, and I recognize that he does have the Flame Orb, but I need to lock it in on something so it can stop, you know, just spamming the hell out of the rest of its moves. Uh, especially Recover. But he goes for the Toxic, and this is really cool, because now I get the Flame Orb, and I don't get the Burn, because he poisoned me. And uh, since I gave him the choice backs, he's locked in on uh, Toxic. So he has to switch out. I'm going to go for the Pursuit because it's going to be stabbed 60. Uh, well, what is it? It's uh, 40 double to 80 because he switched out. And then with stab is 120. So 120 base power move with a crit through the Marvel scale. That's great. Uh, he does, however, bring in Hound Doom. And I'm not going to want to take any of his hits too well, whether it be either stab. So. Uh, they're both going to be neutral, and I go to Moltres predicting the fire move, I guess, also as a fodder, because with Rocks Up, it's really not going to be too much use at all. And now I see that he is uh, Life Orb, which is great, and I go for the Morning Sun just to try to get some health back, but, you know, potentially fodder, but then I notice that I'm faster than him, and this actually comes in handy because I was going to leave it in as fodder, but I guess he expected me to switch out, so... Uh, I know I'm going to die this turn to a Dark Pulse, assuming I don't flinch at the Air Slash, but since I know I'm faster, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get some damage, and there's nothing wrong with that. I do around, I want to say 40, 45%, maybe 50, I don't know, I wasn't really paying too much attention. But he hits with the Dark Pulse, takes me up. Now this is great, because I know since I'm faster than him, I can go ahead and bring in something as fast, or faster than Moltres, and I should be okay. Uh, in this case, it happens to be my, uh... Life Orb, just regular Rotom, and that'll take him out with a T-Bolt. So, that's great. Uh, what do we have going on here? I haven't seen this match in a while, so, sorry. Uh, he brings in a Toxic Croak. First instinct is, you know, Sucker Punch. So, I'm gonna go for the sub, and scout to see if he has it, but he actually Swords Dances on my sub, and I'm like, well, I'm behind a sub. I don't care. Uh, I got Life Orb and stuff. I can paint split back health on something else if absolutely need be. But for now, I'm gonna hit him with a T-Bolt, because that's gonna be the best move I can do on him, and it does an ass ton of damage and he hits me with the stone edge so i'm thinking oh maybe he doesn't have sucker punch it's hit me with stone edge otherwise you know he would have revealed it right now to break the sub but i go for another sub just in case he does have it and he's bluffing it and he does reveal it there so at least i'm behind a sub now and i can hit him with the uh the t-bolt or the shadow ball move of my choice really doesn't matter uh hit him with the t-bolt and life orb is going to bring me down pretty low but at least i was able to take out the uh plus two Toxic Croak from behind a sub and not actually taking any damage other than Life Orb and sub. Uh, in comes Donphan. I know he's got the priority, so I'm just going to leave my Rotom in his fodder because I will not 
uh, get the opportunity to paint split because of that, and if I switch in, uh, rocks will probably take me out. Uh, actually, not probably, they will, whatever. Uh, bring in Leafy on next because I know, despite the fact that it's super effective, it's not stab. And uh, Leafian's got a pretty good base defense, so I know I should be able to take that. Okay, he's gonna go for another one, probably hoping for the crit or whatever, or uh, potentially foddering out. I do have synthesis on this Leafian. He hasn't seen it, and I don't uh, really take the opportunity to reveal it. I take a little bit more damage than I wanted to from both of those combined, and that's gonna bring me down to the point where if I hit something else with Leaf Blade, I'm gonna die. But Dawnfan's gone, so that's also good as well. Here is a play, however, on the other hand, I didn't really understand. He brings in Absol, uh, probably tries to scare me out. Uh, I was going to leave it as fodder anyway, but he probably tried to scare me out with Sucker Punch because I guess he thought I didn't want to lose my Leafeon because he had his Melodic, so he switches to his Melodic, if that makes sense. But I go for the Synthesis, and I actually get some health back, which is nice. And now he knows I have the Synthesis, and I'm taking life or damage and stuff, so he sends in Absol again. And I guess he was thinking I was going to go for the synthesis again to try to get some health up. But no, I want the Absol dead. So I just go for the X Scissor and, you know, we got a little bit of a uh, leafy on killing spree going here. But I don't think it's going to last too long because I honestly kind of forgot what this last one is. Oh, it's an Espeon. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely boned here. Uh, I decided I'm going to go ahead and switch out. You know, it's his last one, but whatever. Uh, I can probably predict the Psychic, but he goes for the Signal Beam instead. Which uh, would have taken out my uh, Leafeon because super effective, and it does a hideous amount to my uh, my Drapion here. In fact, it's a two-hit KO, so not really much I can do there. I'm thinking he specs because I haven't seen the uh, the move switch, but you know, not everyone packs HP ground or whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch because I know he's gonna go for an offensive move anyway, and it is his last one. And because it's stab and all that, even without the choice band, that's going to be a game. The the funny thing is, I was holding a flame orb, and that didn't really do much for him. But uh, yeah, that was a fun game, Quick Bob. Uh, sorry I couldn't bring you a traditional, well not traditional, uh, my style like I normally do, I guess. Um, I'll spend tomorrow cleaning up, doing the stuff. Uh, I can probably get some matches screen recorded as well, and just get prepped for this weekend. You know, just do what I do. Uh, turning people, I know I'm really only talking to like 14 or 16 people, but the faster you get them done, the faster uh, I can get the next rounds up. I'll be more than happy to get the next brackets up if 4th and 5th gen finish up, uh, you know, before March 1st. That'll be cool. So uh, that's it for today, and I will see you guys on Friday.